What's going on everyone? Darkwater here and welcome back to Airport CEO. We are continuing on our recreation of the Singapore Changi Airport, where last time we had a train wreck, but we added in a medium runway. We got it in there finally. That's that's definitely a good way to go. We're still cleaning up some of the mess. Actually, it's almost all taken care of. Which I'm happy to see. Today, we want to kind of continue working on the beginning stages of Terminal 4. Which these three stands are part of. We'll go ahead and speed things up so we can get a little bit more cash flow. And maybe we'll see what else we can get kind of rolled in here. So this is going to kind of come across. I guess we can take it all the way across. This is going to be permanent. I wish there was a corner one so that we could have a, another stand right here, but that's not going to work. There will be a large stand that sits right here on this corner. But again, that's going to be down the road. Given the fact that there's a runway right here. Let's get some terminal foundation in here. And it's going to sit right here. And it once we have the cash. There's not a whole lot to the areas where there's seats. So it's basically an area of seats and there are some walkalators that are kind of sitting along the edge, but there's not really shops in any of the uh, the end wings. There's all the shops kind of in the, the central area, but as you get out towards the uh, different gates, there's not a whole lot over there. There's a couple bathrooms that are along the uh, the two gates over there. It's actually uh, gate G20 and G19 that's over there. There's a... So that's G20, G19. There's a small shop kind of in the corner over here. But other than that, there's just... Uh, couple bathrooms that are here and uh, along the path over here I get yeah there we go I don't know if we'll get any flights in in this in today's episode but we're gonna try and see what we can get done a lot of it is dependent obviously on cash flow Part of me wants to hook these three up. But we need access for vehicles first. Do I have the cash for this? No. And an economic downturn. Alright. That's that's fine. There we go. Uh, let's pause for a second. I'm going to take those walls out we're going to take this wall out as for those walls we're going to grab some uh insufficient funds and add it right there so this taxiway here is the one that joins the bottom half to the top half runway so that's just going to just go straight up i suppose i could fix that at some juncture in the near future. So I'm going to connect that up. You come around here and go... Uh, I need the other terminal, don't I? Uh, it's five, so we'll do... That. Again, we'll take out the interiorness. There we go.
Service road comes down. Service road goes eventually over. Like so. Okay. I'm trying to, to think through where this whole thing is going. Uh-oh. Hold on. One of these things is not like the other. Why do I feel like it's you? You are a service road. You are... Are you not a service road? I think you are not a service road. I think you're a regular road. I think that's where my malfunction is. Which is why it's not connecting over there. You are going to be on a second floor. That's fine. Are you going to connect, Road? Yes. Okay. I'm good with that. So what's going in this space? Well, that's going to be... Wait a second. Have we not... Oh. We've not researched it yet. That's going to be the waste depot that we've not researched. That seems a little bit of a problem. Research automation, but that's going to live right here. Uh, give me this. We can go ahead and connect you guys in. Still a very busy airport. Uh, 200. Ooh. Oh, economic downturn. Yeah, and, and, and yeah, people aren't happy with things. I, I get it. Now we can do that. Let's go ahead and start researching program group three. Not that we're going to probably be using it. Let me this. 25,000. Nope. This way. You're going to live here. Um, I don't know if I like how that lines up, but we will deal. We have service road, connect there. And this service road connects over a little bit further. And next to that is where we're going to have our catering depot. And that's going to live like right there. So we've got public road up here. We're going to have the private road down or the service road down at the bottom. We need a vehicle checkpoint right here. And that'll handle the service versus public. Assuming I uh, have that laid out the correct way. Then this will just connect 
out to the... Well, it needs to connect over here. The public road, again, goes right to left. And it does kind of skirt down over here. For the time being, until we rework the road, I'm just going to connect it up up there. And for service vehicles, again, just temporarily, temporarily, there we go. Uh, we're going to put it here. It's not going to be a permanent fixture there. It's, that's just going to be temporary. The roads do go under the taxiway, so we will have to do... A tunnel down, tunnel up kind of thing. So at this point, we can come in with vehicles. Buy some vehicles. Let's go ahead and uh, get some. Catering vehicles. Some aircraft cleaning trucks. Go ahead and order both of those. Where did... Where... 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 Oh, okay. I don't... I don't know where my... <laughs> where the vehicles went, but sure. You gonna let me buy stuff? Did we buy any of the uh, pushback trucks? Apparently, no. Okay. I was trying to buy me some pushback trucks. Okay, so we've got catering. We've got waste. Uh, let's... There's gotta be... Okay. There's not... I was hoping there would be a stair or escalator... in uh, a reasonable spot, but no. There's not where I necessarily want it over here. So give me terminal foundation. Pick it up a floor. And uh, I guess we'll do that. That out. This is going to have to flip to being uh, both arrival and departure. I'm going to come across here. Because this taxiway does extend down a little bit. Oh. <laughs> I don't have taxiway there. How much is a jetway? 20k. All right. I'm going to see if we can hook these three stands in today. It would be a lot easier to do if this wasn't here. Um, okay. Give me some stairs. These are going to be eventually staff stairs. Yeah, there's kind of on the map on the Chang'e Airport.com. Sorry. Chungay. 
Chung Yi. There we go. So there are going to be some, there's kind of a, a, it looks, I assume it's a staff area because it doesn't have any kind of designation. So we're going to add a set of stairs there that'll take us up, well, onto the roof apparently. Maybe that, let's pause for a sec, shall we? I'm not getting that. Do there. Nope. I don't want all of those walls gone, just some of those walls gone. How are we doing on our flights? We're at a whopping 31 of 125. Nobody's happy, but nobody's also flying right now. Uh, these contracts. Um, do we want to utter? Okay, so you guys, you know, go ahead and negotiate. You guys happy with that? No. Okay, fine. You guys do have medium flights. Edwards Bay also has medium. Okay. Uh, go ahead, auto negotiate. Since I clearly can't. You actually need to be set for international. You need to be jetway. You need to be set for international. We'll come through and zone you as secure. And secure there. Not a food room, but international. Drop down a floor and none of that's set. Oh, you need to be secure first? Okay. So, secure. National. You guys should be good to go. Just need a E. We do have automation. Trying to remember. Do I have a picture of one of the gates? Yes. It looks like it's only autumn. Because I don't see any... Any of the, uh... That's got to be a temporary uh, security check in there. Uh, I don't see any physical check-ins that have people manning them. It looks like it's all automated. And if that's the case, we will go ahead and go with Yes, two automated ones. We'll see if that's enough. Worst case scenario, we add another one. But we're also going to need to come over here and uh, do some automated check. And can I do that? 
I don't know if I can do that with a... Because I don't have baggage up and running. So if bags need to be checked. So maybe... Oh. So it can't be placed without a bag drop. Fine. We will, uh... Do this. You know, that doesn't make anybody happy. Uh, are you not... Is it? Okay. Go ahead and turn you two on. Uh, wrong direction. Okay. You guys are in and up and going. You need to be changed. Arrival and departure. You seem to be all hooked up. Except for over here, apparently. Why is the runway ramp not connected? How is the runway ramp not connected? Uh, the runway ramp seems to be connected. Fine, we'll do that. Why are you having trouble down here, my friend? That's a large one. How about a medium one? Ooh. Looks like there's a bunch of people that are heading over there. And we've got a bunch of people waiting to uh, board a plane. Not that I have got money for to expand anything over here. Oh, now you go. Okay, that's that's real cute. Can you give me a little taxiway, I guess, here? Uh, that way. And there we go, we got our first two medium flights in here. Again, just weird... spot, but uh, we will uh, eventually be able to uh, fill in that area. We could also, now that I'm thinking about it, we have medium aircraft, we can uh, turn on aircraft cleaning. We can come over here to contract and we can get ourselves a catering food supplier. Ooh, let's grab Sky Garden. How are we at four stars? I don't know how we're at four stars, but okay, we'll go with it. Uh, I probably need to turn catering on, don't I? There we go. Yee, hold on. Hold on, guys. Let me do that. Now, hopefully, you guys can uh, exit the <laughs> exit the plane. Why are you not connected? You're apparently connected. Game doesn't seem to think you're connected, but listen, we both know the truth. Yeah, all you guys are good. 
I'm going to do staff zone here. Just to make sure people don't wander out onto the onto the tarmac. That would be bad. Oh, you need a second floor before I do that, don't you? Now I need 20 grand. And then we can get a third medium run or stand up and operating. So the automated does seem to be working. I was a little concerned on that. You just live there. And you live on this stand? Oh, I'm not on the right level, am I? Eh, you guys are just around the corner, it's fine. Go ahead and turn that on, and let's get... Oh, nope. Let's map you out correctly. Make sure you're correct. Because again, people will get stuck in this square right here. So you have to make sure that International will actually cover that. Because it doesn't default for whatever reason. Um, Self-boarding gates. One. No. Two. There we go. Okay, so this will be our third one. Um, it's turned on, so I'm guessing it's glitching a little bit, similar to this guy. I will, in between this episode and the next one, save and reload so that uh, that gets cleared up. Tempted to do that. Oh, I can't do that. Because you are a arrival only. Okay. Yeah, we'll we'll not do that. You should be up and running. Contrary to what the uh flashy icon says. I don't want to demolish the desk, I just want to demolish these walls. Let people have a little bit more space so they don't just run onto the roof. I don't think I wanted to initially start on uh, Terminal Terminal 2 first, but hey. Things are okay. We are making money. We are processing people on and off flights. We are slowly increasing our capacity. Look at that. We got a bunch of medium flights sitting here. Uh, aircraft stand 17 has none, but it will. We'll do that and get rid of those. And that'll give us our first three medium stands, and I think we'll focus on uh, Terminal 4 a little bit more as we uh, continue on the series. But I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, leave this episode here. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate you guys for being here, and I look forward to seeing you guys again in Airport CEO. And as always, I hope you guys have yourselves a great day. Bye.